let's go to tight end. Who are your top five tight ends for week nine? Uh, so I got Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, assuming he's playing, uh, and then Dal Goddard, Zach Ertz, and Kyle Pitts. Welcome back to the top five. Yep, got the exact same top five. I, I think this is a good matchup for Pitts. I mean, starting to play uh, more and be uh, a bigger part of the offense. But, you know, this Charger team, they do play a lot of band coverage, and that's been kind of Pitts' specialty mm -hmm. throughout his career. Uh, you know, he could see the Derwin James treatment, which, you know, I mean, that that could go poorly. So, um, obviously, maybe maybe he doesn't <laughs> end up in my top five yeah. at the end of the day. But, um, you know, on like just based on his usage and, and what he's doing, and the fact that it's a bye week, so yeah, he's, 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 he's pretty firmly in the top five for now. How, uh, how high are you going to rank, uh, assuming if Mark Andrews is ruled out, how high are you ranking likely? Ooh, I mean, and go figure. I banned myself. I said on the night shift, like I can't go there, but watch him go off, and that's what happened. My God. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I I think he would be, definitely be top ten. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know exactly how high, but uh, definitely inside the top ten. Definitely a guy you want to start. Uh, this yeah, week. Although, out although New Orleans has been like the best team against tight end, so that 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 is the one downside. Like New Orleans has just been lights out against tight ends. They are. First in DVOA against tight ends. They're lagging 30.7 uh, schedule adjusted receiving oh. yards per game. So, like, they, they – it is the worst possible time, of course. I know, like, but we, he's so talented. Yeah. yeah so. And I uh, – so I did, I did a little test run. Yeah. Uh, tight end two. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm, so, you'll see. If if he gets ruled out, I, I would not be surprised if you're near there. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's not just top ten. I think it's, like, top five, maybe top three. But – it, despite the matchup, uh, it's really hard to make him lower than like tight end three or four. Yeah, because you also have Rashad Bateman out, which yeah, you know he he's a guy that could eat up a lot of yardage with without him. It's like they got to. I mean, they could get you know Deshaun Jackson, but it's that's still you know he hasn't played for them. Or your boy James Prochet. You got some catching up to do there, but that that could certainly start this week. Yeah, he, I mean, he did <laughs> see a season high uh seventy percent. Yep. Uh, routes run last week, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, who are you, Hunter? Uh, gotta go with my boy Hayden Hurst. I'm just gonna rotate Hurst, Greg Dulcich. I'm gonna flip flop every week, but uh, <laughs> I love Hurst this week against the Panthers. He's my tight end six. The consensus is ten ten. Now the entire Bengals offense had a down game um, on Monday Night Football, but he still went you know four catches for 42 yards. Um, so the entire offense should bounce back this week. It's a better matchup for Hurst. You know, the Panthers ranked 29th in the DOA against tight end. So, you know, as long as uh, Jamar Chase is out, you know, Hurst will be, you know, either the number two or number three target most games going forward. So uh, I think he's like pushing top five upside uh, this week against the Panthers. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I don't have him that high, but uh, yeah, he's definitely a guy that, you know, with the, and everyone out, you know, Mike, Michael, Mike Thomas didn't do anything uh, in that game. So uh, definitely that you know, one of the top targets now for this foreseeable future. Uh, for me, I'm going with uh, Robert Tunney. Uh, I think people were like too high on him these last couple of weeks against two <laughs> really tough matchups after he, 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 you know, balled out against the Jets. But Washington and Buffalo uh, are two of the more difficult uh, matchups for opposing tight ends. Washington is third in DVOA against ends and Buffalo is second. So he, he faced two, three matchup, two top three matchups these last two weeks didn't produce now everyone dropped him he's consensus tight end 12 well this week he faces detroit they are dead last in dvoa <laughs> against tight end. so just when everyone's ready to write him off again uh you know he he, he gets a great matchup and uh this is i have him tight end seven this week and that's with projecting Lazard to play uh early in the week so he might even jump up a little more uh you know if he doesn't so really like tunyon this week against the Lions, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm back on the tenure train. Yeah, I was I was down last week for all the reasons you mentioned, but he's my tight end eight yep. um, right now. So yeah, so I have like I'm curious where you, who you have in like tight end six through eight because you said Hurst isn't uh, in your top eight. Or... No, it's uh, I believe it's Taysom at six. Yeah, naturally. And uh... who do you have at seven? That's is it Everett Ingram. Waller? That's a good question. It's not Waller. <laughs> it's not Waller. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely not Waller. Uh, oh, no. Tun sorry. Tunyon's my tight end seven. Yeah. Tunyon's my tight end seven. Yeah, so, so Taysom's tight end, tight end six. Taysom. Okay, Taysom. who's your tight end eight? 
eight is this week is wide open at tight end so we're gonna see some crazy uh crazy guys yeah evan ingram there. evan ingram yeah 90 okay. routes run last game yeah two percent for the season um yeah he's getting the usage so yep all right who are you low on um, I am low on Tyler Higby. Yep. Um, to be honest, th- there aren't many guys where I'm like super low on in the tight end one or tight end two range, but Higby's had a rough past few weeks. Um, he had another injury scare last week, was able to return, uh, dropped a long potential touchdown, unfortunately. Um, at the end of the day, he only finished with uh, two catches, 25 yards, and a 42% route participation. Mm-hmm. Assuming a lot of that was uh, due to being out um with on the sidelines with his injury but i'll have to look into that but you know van jefferson return action wasn't targeted at all but once he gets more involved it'll be tougher to higby uh to command his 25 percent target share um this season so he's he's still a low end tight end one this week again there's six teams on a bye plus we'll have to see what's up with cooper cup uh and his ankle injury but just right now it's been really rough for higby so even on like a thin week uh you know he's barely inside my top 10 Oh, yeah, he's my tight end 12. He's not inside yeah. the top 10. Um, and I think a big issue is, and we kind of talked about this, uh, I think we were on his under a couple weeks ago, but he's mm-hmm. pass blocking more now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe that, because, like, they, they went into the bye, he was pass blocking a lot. Okay. But then they came out of the bye, and he's still pass blocking a lot more. So he's pass blocked on 29% of his passing snaps over the last two weeks, just 10% of his passing snaps yeah. uh, prior to that. So, I, you know, this is a trend that may continue here um, going forward just because, you know, the Rams obviously are having a lot of difficulty in pass protection. You know, that, that's been a major issue for them. And, you know, facing the Bucks, I know they just lost, you know, they're, they're kind of banged up on defense, but still not easy uh, defensive front to go against uh, for Tyler Hitty. So, um, yeah, he's my tight end 12 right now. He's more of a borderline guy than a sure thing that he was early in the year. Let's go with Tyler Conklin. He's been up and down uh, this year, uh, but he, he came through with a really big game against the yeah. Patriots. Uh, but, you know, was that the Patriots just kind of saying, you know, we're going to let <laughs> him beat us? But, I mean, they a lot, Zach Wilson actually threw for a ton of yards. So uh, this is a tough projection for me. So let's go with over under 32 and a half. Oh, I'll go under. I had I had 30 and a half written down. So you scared me when he paused after 30. Um, but yeah, that, that's a good line. It, it's brutal matchup, of course. Uh, and I said, we, we just have to ignore him until he returns back to his 70% routes run rate or more. And that's what he's done in the past two weeks. Uh, the CJ Uzoma experiment seems to be over. Um, so I, I do think that's a good line. He's back to being, you know, the full-time tight end. Uh, but it's such a brutal matchup. I'm just a couple yards lower than you. Yeah, and uh, Uzoma, it's not even really that Uzoma's playing less. It's just they're just going with two tight end sets. So um, yeah, that that's got to be just the just the wide receiver room being a mess, right? Like I think if Corey Davis yeah. returns this week, if Elijah Moore, I, he didn't get traded, so he's going to have to get back in the good graces. Um, I, they might offer less two tight end sets, but just the wide receiver room being a mess. Has certainly helped Conklin the past couple weeks. Yeah, absolutely.